This show features adults using adult language and discussing mature topics. You have been warned. These are so cute. I, like, they are. They are I, way I, too goddamn cute. Yeah. Uh, I like almost cried when I opened the thing. I think I did cry you did a cry. little bit. You did I, cry. I was going to say bullshit. You didn't cry, Callie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and then like later I was discovering like more of stickers that you put in there. And I was like, you see more stickers. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We've been live for a minute or two. Oh, nice. Hi. 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 Welcome to Potter right. Puppet Pals. <laughs> Yay. Hi there. Frank. Frank. Franklin the Frank. I, I found a pipe bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, oh. Welcome to Callie's Muppet Corner. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I finally... No, Puppet Corner, you can't do Muppet. Thanks, Aya. Yeah, we're gonna get yeah. sued, Aya, thanks. Oh. <laughs> Michael Rodham, please don't sue us. <laughs> I've, I've made the joke to Scotty constantly that I think the best thing that could happen to either of our channels is us getting sued by Disney, because that would just bring immediate attention to that channel, our channels. We, we're not unwritten anymore, we're unfelted. Oh. <laughs> we're not unwritten, uh, we're now unta- uh, unwatchable. Because <laughs> Michael wrote it sued us. Wow, rude. No! Michael wrote it, please let's do it. But there was a big new rodent in town named Charles E. Cheese. What was it? Charles something cheese. Charles Entertainment Cheese. Entertainment yes. Cheese. Charles Entertainment. I was speaking of, uh, uh, bro- like, uh, what are it called? Domains of Dread. Mm-hmm. Uh, one of them being a Chuck E. Cheese. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's one pretty close to it. That's yeah. true, there is. Kind of, but is anyway, I could, a, I could see it reflavored as Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah. Anyway, we're not here for that. We're here for something more. That's funny. true. That is true. Yeah. <laughs> we're here to kick Hi, the shit out of Dylan's feelings. Yeah. <laughs> I made everybody <laughs> the, the, the main cast little finger puppets of their characters, mm-hmm. and they're lovely. And I cried, and I'm going to cry again. <laughs> and it's just like you know, it's it's really nice. I thank you so much. <laughs> I, you oh. should, you should, um, I'm jumping the gun here, but you should make like a little Etsy store of finger puppets or something. You never know. Uh, this is a, it takes a lot of effort. Mm. I would, but yeah. Anyway, sorry. Uh, I've got a little Winnie uh, for my finger puppet, and I'm going to put her on top of uh, the Donald that I have today for as my duck. So I don't know if you can see that or not. But I can. Like, it's great. Wonderful. I don't think they yeah. can, but I can Kelly, definitely. I do. would like to request you draw when were you writing Donald Duck, please? <laughs> okay. Uh, suitable for work right. version, please. <laughs> yeah. <I'll... laughs> Are you just getting me to repeat <clears throat> back right? This is a family friendly. Yeah. Uh, I say that. And and Donald has a girlfriend. And I'm here. Wait, you say this is family friendly, and then you invite me. You're getting some mixed messages there. Wait, this is family friendly? Uh, Ah, shit, fuck. (laughs) Uh, Okay. (laughs) 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 Moving on. Uh, Moving on. Huh? What? That Callie, I'm going to ignore that. <laughs> no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, you know, I'm, I'm gonna try to start the game, or we're never gonna start. Yeah, sure. So, yeah. Uh, and we're done. And we're done. All right. <laughs> All over. right. And that's the chapter. Okay. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome here. to chapter twelve. <laughs> Welcome to chapter twelve of Unwritten. Uh, we're in a joyful mood today, so let's squander that, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> I'm in a great mood st- in- still. I'm yeah. excited. Um, I've, ne- I've, I've, never, I've never felt better. Ah. I actually fleece, not felt. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I'm done. I'm gonna mute now. <laughs> so Cali can actually start. Um. Mm. Well, maybe not unmute, or maybe unmute, because I'm going to make you roll, unless somebody wants to tell me what happens le- happened last time. I don't know what lot. happened last time. <laughs> call me out. <laughs> I don't know why, I wonder. <laughs> it's a mystery. It's a real mystery. Uh-oh. Oh. 
Are we rolling one or two? Oh, that's good. One, one okay. dice for no. Okay. Ooh. Mm. All right. Uh, hang on. Let me roll. <laughs> Dylan, what happened last time? God damn it. <laughs> All right. Uh, so we uh, went to the Ocean Ward, right? Mm -hmm. And ran into uh, Robin and Sweetums, who had been kicked off the ship of the Red Whistle, a notorious pirate queen. Um, so we accompanied them back to her ship. And, you know, we met her and her very strange Muppet crew, or puppet crew, <laughs> whatever. Muppet. Um, Muppet. Muppet, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> um, and we, you know, kind of talked about how to proceed from there and kind of made a, a deal that River and the Red Whistle would have a duel and whoever won, you know, would basically have to get control of the ship for the time being. That's sort of thingamajig. Um, so we're fighting. Um, it was very, very like intense. Um, River got really hurt. Uh, but, you know, it was like, I can't give up uh, and jumped into the fight. But the Red Whistle had put her weapon down. Uh, however, River didn't notice, but still struck, you know, um, a dishonorable blow, one might say. Uh, and I believe that's about where we left off. Yeah. I forgot it is. Like they jumped in to stop you. Oh, yeah, it was the reason why she yeah. put her weapon down. Yeah. Uh, heck, yeah. So uh, that's definitely what happened last time. And we uh, jump back in with the a hush falling over the, uh, the whole ship. Um, everyone stands silently staring at back and forth between the Red Whistle and Ribbert who, if I remember correctly, is holding uh, two swords. Uh, oh, that's right. Over, and the sword that he got from Eli in a cross across the Red Whistle's neck. Right. Uh, knocking her down fully. And the members of the ship are caught in disbelief, uh, you would say, um, as there's nary a hint of pop cord and falling on the floor um, <laughs> as they watch you. Um, and they look to the red whistle and they wait. Well, she'll kind of just look up at Ribbert mm -hmm. um, and kind of try and move him. Mm. off of her not yeah. like violently but try to move him yeah. off of her yeah he'll i mean as soon as he realizes that he'll like jump you know back off onto the deck she'll stand up kind of give herself a little dust off and then look at Ribert, kind of expectantly curious of what he's going to say about that I'll look at Ribbert. Ribbert will say... Hmm. I think Ribbert would probably say something like, uh, I've bested you, Red Whistle. She'll cock an eyebrow and said, the only thing you've bested is the rules of the duel. With a very sarcastic tone and a smirk on her face as she picks up her whip and coils it into a thing at her side. 
Ripper just kind of stoic, little froggy mouth, but you can see it kind of like turned down a little bit and a little grimace. And I. Red Whistle, are you okay? Um, she'll kind of turn her eyes to Alex, uh, Alexia and nod. I've had worse. Are you okay? Physically. She'll nod. Say, I'm glad at least you weren't hurt. Um, well, that wasn't fair. Ripper didn't know that the duel was over. Ripper may not have known the duel was over, but Ripper also had, uh, had someone step in on in his behalf. Why'd you do that, Alexia? I didn't want to see him get hurt. Well, it's, that's part of the fight. It's true. I didn't want to see him get hurt either. It would have been far worse if you got hurt, Alexia. Me, you, what's the difference? Well, I'm the one who just decided to have a duel. Right, and then decided, look at yourself. You're <laughs> bleeding from every orifice that you can bleed from. Not every orifice. <laughs> she said I want to lose another person I care about. She's gonna. I think she's gonna turn and just like kind of walk off up like to like a less populated area of the ship. Mm. I think Ribbert will take Excalibur and like you know sort of flip it so he's holding it and hand hilt first to uh, to Franklin. I'm sorry, it's distracted by cat. What? <laughs> oh, River flips Excalibur, hands it help first to Franklin. Oh. Boop. And it grows back into a bigger sword. Um, oh. Because it's a magic sword. Mm -hmm. Excalibur. Um. Oh. <laughs> uh, Wow. Uh, well, that was quite a fight, everyone. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> Richard, can you please get the medic? Uh, for kind, of, Red Whistle has already made her made a slip into the crowd, pretty much. Mm. That was the medic. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out Red Whistle's the medic. Oh, oh God. <laughs> that seems like a problem. Medic? That seems like a design flaw. <laughs> what are you oh. talking about? You whip people back into shape. Exactly. Whip them back right into shape. <laughs> I was like, I don't know whether that's a problem or something I want. <laughs> nope. Not exactly, but... <laughs> Going on. <laughs> Oh yeah, Kevin. If you remember Kevin, uh, the uh, I remember Kevin. Who yeah. doesn't? The, yeah. fir the first mate. He is a tall, oh. lengthy frog. <laughs> <laughs> He's as tall as Alexia. Yes, he has as tall as Alexia. He just has long frog legs, um, which is very impressive because she's a tall lady. <laughs> He's a very tall lady. Um. <laughs> yeah, he. He, you know, <laughs> magic creatures in this land. Mm. Whatever. Um, he looks down at a uh, river and uh, mm. he says, "Do you need some patching up? We're not ones to leave a uh, 
a wounded man on the side of the ship. Even Rupert. if he did some dishonorable things. <laughs> that is just my opinion, sir. Do not take it against me. Yeah. I'm still offering aid. <laughs> just Rupert. rubbing the salt all <laughs> over that fucking wound. It's great. It's Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> Use Robert. sugar in the wound. It, it helps prevent infections. Mm. Robert will sort of just grab Wouldn't that his do the face opposite? a little bit. Wouldn't bacteria be attracted to sugar? No. Sugar is sugar is um, hydrophobic too. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Robert will sort of grab at his face a little, like at his eyes, and then sort of. Uh, hydrophobic. It melts into sugar. Yes, but it's still hydrophobic at certain degrees. It'll nod. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> Dick, get the medic. You said my name was Richard. It's a freaking nickname, you dumbass. Get the medic. <laughs> kid show. <laughs> <laughs> this is my favorite kid show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was joking earlier. It's for exactly like audiences, everyone. <laughs> It's exactly how my house grew up when I was young, so I don't know. It's... Yeah, Same too. here, honestly. Like, there's a reason uh, yeah. why I swear so much, and it's because of my family. Yep. Even if my mom was always like, "Stop swearing," there was a lot of swearing. Sorry, any kids watching this because you saw a puppet. Uh, please leave. Oh. <laughs> um. Don't worry. There's a warning at the beginning. Okay. Mm. Um. Uh, yeah, but Richard brings over a, a medic, the medic. Um, he is a uh, about a um, a man in his uh, late forties, um, not a muppet or a ruffet, as others would say. Uh, he has one leg, uh, and he comes over, and he's got uh, bushy black hair, um, and he says. So I hear you that you need uh, patching up. I didn't watch the fight, but you know. <laughs> Sorry, is is he? Uh... He's not a rough it. He's mm. not a rough it. He's huh. a he's an older man. Mm. Uh, about in his late forties, you've never seen him before. Ah, uh, yes, lunch pad. Got it. <laughs> yeah, Rupert will just sort of, uh, you know, undo his. Sh Was he wearing a shirt? I forget. Yeah, we might already take it off. Yes, no, we we you samurai he ripped it open. That's right. You got. That's right. You, you, you got that samurai money. jacked. Your your shit. Your right. shirt got torn off to shreds. Yeah. Yeah. Anything else I take, I, I have on, then I'll take off so that you can see my wounds and everything. Hmm. He says, oh, you're going to do that right here in the middle of a god and everybody? Let's get over to the side of the deck. <laughs> the ladies, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> from, the, from them froggy ladies. Uh, he will uh, lead you to the side. Um, he is... Uh, he has the disposition and... Uh, of a of a pirate like a like a weathered pirate uh but his hands and like nails are clean uh mm. and he uh pulls out bandages and he um starts to uh wrap around the wounds on your arm um and he says oh, it was quite a fight wasn't it i wasn't watching was. as i said but you know um, how much you watching you squeamish a little bit, yeah. Odd profession for you to have. Oh, well, I uh, <laughs> I was a trader before. I, I didn't ask to be a... Uh... <gasps> Who did you betray? As Franklin's head pops up in an hour. <laughs> a traitor. Not a traitor. <laughs> you and Rupert have so much in common. No! <laughs> Hello, darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I've come to river again. Oh. Uh, but 
uh, yeah, I uh, I used to trade uh, jewels and vessels and uh, currency and, you know, old beautiful clothing uh, worn by noble ladies uh, back in that land with the fairies, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, I, uh, it's little tiny dresses fit the little tiny ladies. Yeah. What the life that was. But anyway, now I'm here. You don't exactly get to choose your profession. Sometimes a dude named Mike tells you what you're supposed to do, and you're like, all right, whatever. Mm. My name's Joe, by the way. Trader Joe. I thought your name was Dick. No, Dick came and got me. <laughs> I'm Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Spiders. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm glad Joe got some dick. Really, really important to me. I don't no, know. no, Dick got Joe. <laughs> right I don't know. I, Joe seems like he's Biden for time with this conversation. Uh, no, I'm, I'm well, not. I'm. I'm just introducing myself as like a well-established mm -hmm. character. Get out of here. No, uh, no, yes. <laughs> pushes Franklin it's off screen. Nice, nice to meet you. Out of the clean room. You're not clean. <laughs> But yeah, he patches up your wounds, and um, he's an ear if you uh, if you would like to talk. Um, but uh, we, I, I'm going to move over to um, Alexia. Uh, what are your what? Where did you head off to? Um, you know, look, I don't know if this boat has this, but I'm imagining like. Like above the steering wheel, like the back of the boat, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the little bitch probably just hanging out there and like kind of looking. I, I would say as long as it is not like a uh, like a very strange thing that is hard to say. Yeah, the, that's what the, it has. Ball pit. Um, the, I will say it that should have a ball pit. Why don't you have a ball pit, Red Whistle? What the fuck? The back part behind the steering wheel is is actually the poop deck. So, just <laughs> thought I'd let you know. Mm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The thing that the the up uh, like that's on uh, Reese's background. Yeah. Yeah. Right yeah. Uh, you're talking about the steering area, pretty much where yeah. where normally they'd steer. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it depends on the ship. There's like different. Most designs. bigger ships, pirate esque ships, have that. Yeah, I know yes. what you're talking about. Yeah. She's just hanging out back there. Kind of staring off. Mm. Um, um, how are you feeling, Alexia? Um, I think she's really, she's really sad and kind of annoyed and kind of like. She's she's missing. She's missing missing her wizard pal. Mm. There's a feeling of a hand crawling up the side of your shoulder, uh, and it kind of <laughs> grasps your shoulder. Uh, and yeah. Do you <laughs> like turn around. around and it's a thing There's from the Adams family <laughs> I can't have two characters with <laughs> <laughs> uh, you turn around and there's nothing there The this feeling of uh, a, a presence of a like a haunting feeling that you felt while you were dreaming the night before uh, of Dinky um, fills your head um, and something else fills your head it's the thought of betrayal yeah you 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 are are you betrayed by Ribert? Did he betray your trust? 
and everything. Who is this man? Is he exactly what you thought he was? Who is he? Should you put your trust in him more or? And then you feel another presence on the back of your shoulder. Um, and it spins you around and uh, the red whistle is there. Hi. Hi. You all right? You ran off after that in a moo estate. Yeah, um I'm I'm fine. Uh, just raised eyebrow. <laughs> You know, the one of like disbelief. Yeah. <laughs> like there's only there's only so many people that I know in general. And like You're afraid of losing them. That's understandable. Any, you can't stop anybody from doing what they want. Leaving me behind. No matter how much I plead. She'll kind of look at Alexia. Kind of, they seem like they care about you. Even if they are rash. I don't know them. I don't know anybody. For all I know, this is all some big conspiracy to sail me away with pirates. Which, hey, good job you did it. But. I've never been this far away from home before. And I kind of stuck with the first people, the first people I met. One of them called me a witch. I'm starting to question if my company is good company. Well, they seem nice enough, most of them. I'm sure that means nothing coming from a pirate, but you see, Actually, I know maybe you're the nicest people in the world. I've never met a pirate before. She kind of just grins. I would think I, I would like to think I'm the one of the nicest people in the world, but again, I guess it depends on who you're talking to. Yeah, it's all about perspective. I just don't want to lose more. She'll put a kind of hand on your shoulder again. Okay. Well, if you ever need another family, you can always join the crew. Hmm. That's what being a pirate is about. Having a family who you can care about. <laughs> Dylan's gr grimacing because he knows what I'm making kind of a reference of here. <laughs> and definitely not stealing. No, no, there's definitely stealing. <laughs> no, good pirates don't get caught. That's mm -hmm. the secret. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll think about it. And may I ask, where are you planning to go next? I have no idea. Well, you're searching for your friend, you said? 
Yeah. I have no idea where he went. All we know is that some queen caused this. And I don't think it's any of the queens that rule these lands. Hmm. Okay, I think you remember you saying something about this last session. I don't remember Yeah. about there the queen. Is, there is four queens that you know of um, by like our characters are from whatever. There was a spell that caused the, the world to change. Mm -hmm. our, 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 okay. our, our, our characters know that That's there right. is a king and a queen. And right. supposedly the queen did something. Well, I may offer, if I may offer, you're always, if you need a, a ride to anywhere, the ship is available. Thank you. It would be a shame to see your search die because your friend did a, did a dishonorable deed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, not going to stop looking. Thank you. She kind of takes her head up, does a little bow. Now, you should go back to him at least. Your friend was getting medical attention, I believe, and your other one was singing something. I don't really know. I think he got pushed out of the medical room as well. I'm going to go check on Franklin. <laughs> <laughs> Franklin, are you bothering the pirates again? <laughs> no, he's swinging his sword around. <laughs> Almost poked somebody's eye out. <laughs> um, well, uh, you are having a conversation. Uh, Eli... Uh, you watched this whole thing go down. You had a big, uh, nice vantage point of seeing um, what happened. <laughs> Is there anything, any way you would like to react to this? Or, like, what would you do next? I know it's that asking is like a, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not sure, but I, I'm not sure what Eli would do. He just keep, probably just sit there and just kind of keep watching as everyone, like, scrambles around to clean up and as mm -hmm. our little group kind of splits off and does their own things. Mm -hmm. Really when it moves from the bench. You uh, see the red whistle uh, slip away and uh, find her way to Alexia and off to the side you see Ribert uh, being patched up uh, by Trader Joe uh, and you um, You you sit there, uh, Robin and Sweetums, um, kind of having a talk with one another, um, and uh, Winnie is up and talking to Kevin, uh, the lengthy frog, um, and they seem to be arguing about something, but uh, and the, it's in hushed tones, but uh, the intense look on Winnie's face is. Uh, just very, um, very, very intense. It's intense, whatever. Uh, but yeah, and uh, Franklin is swinging around his sword. Um, but there's popcorn spilled out on the floor around you, uh, and several of the ruffets are cleaning up um, the, the board that they had put down for the fight. Um, and you're just kind of sitting there by yourself and um, watching all of this happen. And... What? Nothing, sorry. <laughs> Are you laughing at Kevin the lengthy frog? <laughs> Yeah, he, uh, uh, he's he's just gonna sit there until 
someone tells him to move or until he's needed elsewhere. Okay. Um, uh, as, as you sit there and stare off into um, nothing, you kind of like look up into the clouds uh, and there's like, well, do you have any like perception-esque roles that you could use or do you uh, just roll, just roll uh, some was... dice for me? All right, I can do. I can certainly do that. Four. 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 Um. There's a shape in the clouds. Um, Simba. And you can't really make out what exactly it is. Um. But as quick as you glance at it, it goes away. Uh, um. Ah, uh, it's a joy to have you. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, but, uh, ew, uh, and then, uh, you hear, okay, break. And then Sweetums and Ribbert walk back to you. Um, and Ribbert says, okay. Or Ribert? not Ribbert. Uh, Robin. Robin <laughs> walks back to you. Sorry. Long day. Uh, Robin walks back to you and says, um, Okay, we made a decision, Eli. Welcome to the two bandits, which are now the three bandits. <laughs> and then uh, Sweetums like, has like a confetti thing, and he goes, and it, like little bits of confetti pop out, and they're like, Ooh. <laughs> You're a little popper! Yeah. <laughs> As they just kind of like fall and rain <laughs> on yeah. Eli. And just... All right. Cool. Thanks for having me. So you so... agree. <laughs> You're a part of the banded duo, which is now a trio. But was a duo. But Wait. was a duo, but used to be also a trio, but the one guy ran away with a chicken. <laughs> so you said. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what do you What do you want? Oh golly! Awkward, depressed silence. The chapter. Uh, <laughs> this is Eli. This it. is Eli at his state. Like this is just the baseline. Like I know, yeah. but like all the characters are like sad. Except for Eli, yeah. he just doesn't care. <laughs> no, I... I'm, you know, like, uh, Robin and Sweetums are like, Okay! So, for the first act of business, what are we gonna do? Can you tell us what to do? We don't know what to do. What do you want to do? Really? Yes. Okay. Sweetums, let's have another meeting. It goes over and they circle around. Um, and we'll, while they're doing that, uh, we'll go to... <laughs> uh, we'll go back to... <laughs> we'll go back to Rupert. Uh, Rupert, uh, you were finished being patched up by, uh, by Joe. Uh, they just bandages? And, right? Yeah. It, it, it's bandages, and then he. Uh, That's all he needs. He pulls out a book and he goes. And then he pulls out, like. Um, <laughs> River just, like, sample. slowly turns his head to him. Pardon? You just swear to him in front. Uh, <laughs> and then he. He like reaches into like this lunch box that's in the shape of a um <laughs> of a of a treasure chest, uh, and he pulls out uh, a a sandwich and it's freshly made. He says, "Here you go. This should uh this should heal all the wounds." Okay, what kind of sandwich? Are we talking like a deli sub? Are we talking? That's a good question. Sandwich? Yeah. 
We're talking peanut butter and jelly. It's uh. Are we well, talking has... a genuine Publix sub? That's what I was thinking too. It's a genuine pub sub. There you go. You <laughs> eat the pub sub. <laughs> yeah, from the pirate pubs. Uh, <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, that's this, my favorite pizza place. It's this orc chef named Pub. Mm. Pub sub. Yeah, I think I think River will will look at it and then he'll like sort of look down at his feet and he'll say, No, no, I I couldn't. I I don't deserve your kindness. I was just gonna say I don't deserve your genuine public stuff. I don't I don't deserve your genuine I deserve stuff. the knockoff version. <laughs> Look. Uh I I didn't I, I don't know where you're from and I don't know what you what you did before you got on the ship, but I think once you step on board, you're a part of this community one way or the other. And well, I don't think that the Red Whistle would want you to be as hurt as you are. And uh, it was, I... just, you know, one mistake, right? One mistake can have heavy consequences, Joe. Uh, he slaps your little frog uh, side and he says- I thought he was gonna slap my ass. <laughs> Jeez. Jeez. Go get him, sport. Your little frog booty. Go get yeah. him, sport. Uh, he slaps your, your frog shoulder and he says, mm. well, that's the point of, 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 living isn't it it's yeah. forgiving yourself and forgiving letting other people forgive you i mean it's not going to be easy and i'm sure it's not and he looks off at alexia um but the point is to try right I suppose but if i can't even hold on to my own honor if i trade that for something else, even if it was an accident. Maybe I'm not the same person that I was. Maybe, and just sort of looks at his little froggy hands and reels them. Maybe I... Guys, st stop making this. I'm I'm sorry, but this whole episode, I'm just hearing mm. like Lincoln Park in the background. <laughs> uh, did you expect anything less when it came to Callie making a game? Just wait. Uh, you know, our next vaccine game is going to be just just as bad, if oh not boy. worse. I'm just saying. <laughs> Our corruption <laughs> game's going fine. We started it. We're having an international incident right now. Oh. Yeah. We're having a vacation. And Not yet. Because our boss quit. We're working on that. Back, <laughs> to, this, back to this game. Yes, Franklin, yeah. Franklin goes looking it's... for Red Whistle. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's pretty scary. I mean, she was just talking to Alexia, and Alexia just went to look for you, so... Oh. Makes sense. Ah, <laughs> uh, the classic Sucheru, where you're looking for each other. <laughs> and hey, Franklin. Have you seen Franklin? And an engine as you circle <sighs> around trying to find each other. Hey, Franklin. How's it going? It would be going better if you didn't interrupt. Guys! <laughs> All right, fine. <laughs> I guess nobody wants me around. I guess not, and Franklin pouts off. Wow. What is happening? Got it! Oh, no. uh, <laughs> hey, hey, no, I'm the preteen here. I'm allowed to be a little angsty, but... Eli, you're in charge. <laughs> yeah, you're Reese, that was perfect. Can you give Reese something for that? I think Reese needs something yeah. for that. 
Reese, I'm going to give you two hero points because you deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's okay. Um, I think I lost a bunch because my PDF didn't save. So I'm back to like 10. Uh, so. 10. That's fine with me. Yeah. Well, you started out with like five, I think. So. Um, you guys used a bunch. Of, uh, I was going to say yesterday, but last time. Yeah, yeah yesterday. Um, oh, yeah. you. No, they did. You guys uh, certainly tried. Yeah, you de- definitely tried, um, and, and and the end it, it it succeeded in one way or the other, uh, but yeah, um, <laughs> Franklin just huffs off, and uh, River and Alexia, you make eye contact um, with each other. Um, got the dying in your <laughs> arms tonight. tonight. <laughs> Must have been something you said. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Knew I should have walked away. I'm going away. to um uh <laughs> um <laughs> God I dropped my dice. What is happening tonight? Yeah. Earth you dropped spaghetti. Now you're if, dropping dice. Franklin is fucking mad at me and Rupert is being whatever. I'm gonna go talk to Winry and figure out where the fuck we're going. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you go and it's find Winnie. Uh, you I'm go sorry, find I Winnie. always mess that up. Winnie. It's, uh, she's talking to Kevin um, uh, and uh, the lengthy frog, which I yeah. will continue to say. I have a wizard angst. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll hang on a second because I can do this now. Wizard angst. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Winnie, no! Please! <laughs> Winnie! Um, she, she got killed um, by the cryptid from Mobius. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, uh, Alexia, you you walk up to Winnie and you hear um, her say, I read through the contract. You're supposed to honor the deal. Uh, and Franklin said, or not Franklin. Huh? Kevin says, oh. <laughs> Kevin says, while that was before your friend did his little shenanigans and and i don't think the red whistle is going to hold up to the bargain anymore and when he says well can you can you try to can you try to talk to her about it or let us talk to her about it he says oh no uh, can do she's a busy woman uh kevin i just talked to her and she said she'll take us Anywhere we want to go. The question is where we want to go. <laughs> that face is very good. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. Fine. I'm going. Fine. It's Fine. Not- Listen, if it were up to me, she would have won too, but like, here we are. Ugh. <laughs> uh. Yeah, well, you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kevin. Yeah. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> Man. <laughs> I think Kevin God. loves I think Kevin loves the red whistle, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has a mad crush on her. Um about when he uh turns to you and says Hey, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Um, just trying to figure out where we're going. Uh, well, it, it uh, looks like maybe um, traveling with the Jolly Roger for a while, if, if that's okay with you. I know you and Robert aren't exactly in the greatest place right now, but, and Maybe bunking together is not a good idea, but you know, I'm sure we'll find a way to be fine. It's a big ship. Yeah, I um, I have an idea. Mm-hmm. Um, I heard from some of the sailors because uh, I've been talking around that there's a um, a place near the mainland that mm-hmm. um, we can all go to and maybe just relax and 
talk it out, maybe? I'm not, I'm not pushing you to do anything. I'm just, like, offering something out there. Mm. I mean, we should probably be going, don't you think? Like, Yeah. Yeah, I just don't want to leave anything. Look. I just want everybody to be okay. I just want you guys, you to be okay. I know we don't know each other very well, but I didn't really, I haven't really had a, I thought we could be friends. Of course we can be friends. I mean, <laughs> I thought we were friends. <laughs> No, 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 we are friends. I was just thinking maybe you didn't think that we were friends and I was, I was kind of, you know, I, I, I didn't know. Uh, but, um, oh God, I'm, you know, <laughs> um, <Literally>. yeah, <laughs> can we hug, friend hug? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Big hug. <laughs> Even Eli is like, wow, okay. that's awkward. <laughs> Awkward sibling hug. <laughs> this is a Voldemort hug. That's what this is. No, it's no. It's a Gravity <laughs> Falls joke. Oh my god. Sorry. Uh, you go pat pat. <laughs> uh, but uh, you know, we're gonna get through this. You know. Yeah. Whether or not, you know. She, um, she hands you the book, um, and, um, she opens up to chapter, thir uh, 12, mm -hmm. um, or actually chapter 11, um, at the end of the chapter, it's called The Duel, mm -hmm. um, and I swear to God, Scotty, um, <laughs> uh, it, at the end of it, um, it says, Ribert deals the final blow on the red whistle, not knowing what is next to come, and afraid that he is about to lose everything. She says, maybe you should talk to him. Mhm. 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 Yeah. Talking to solve problems? No way. <laughs> mm. I just You don't have to. If you don't want to. If he wants to apologize, he can come find me, but I'm not gonna find him. That's... She puts her hand on your shoulder and she says, that is incredibly fine. You shouldn't have to. You did nothing in this. It's fine. Um, do we have a map of this world? Yeah, uh, Marie gave us the map and uh, she shows you the map. Um, and I will post it again in the, uh, if it's not pinned, I'll post it again in the, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In the chat. I think she'll, like, take the map and try to study it. Wrong map. That's not the map. <laughs> try to study it. Find a course. <laughs> mm-hmm. I think she's, like... Uh... 
She's trying to, like, focus on a goal instead of trying to deal with this stuff. Mm. Um, yeah. You got any ideas? Do I have any ideas? I thought, I think that we were thinking of going around to the different places. That's why we needed a ship. And I don't know if the Red Whistle ship is like, if she wants to hoard us around to different places. Um, but I think that we were talking about maybe going, because um, we're in Ocean Ward right now. I posted mm -hmm. it in the chat. Um, and it, it makes, you know, uh, we can go around to the different places th with the ship. So yeah. literally anywhere else you wanted to go, we could go, or we could explore ocean ward a little bit more, or we could, I think that your, um, dream had, uh, like a dark forest, right? And that's yeah. where you think think he is that's like on the other side isn't it right it would be in um uh moon peak i believe yeah. it's literally on the other side of the world <laughs> yeah um but this would is basically like you know if you want to go through different places mm -hmm. um the um uh, as a quick refresher, um, you started in Swan Karen, which is where the 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 shoe what the boot was with Marie, um, and also it's where the mushroom people are and the, the trees and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, Light Falls is home to the fairies. Um, it's a beautiful flourishing land. There's elves, fairies, nymphs, satyrs, trolls, and frops. Um, uh, Redborn is a desert biome ruled by a very spoiled queen. Um, it's also home to genies and gen. Uh, Moon Peak is the dark place where Dinky probably is. Banshees, ghosts, wolves, lives there, but they have a nice cake shop. Um, now, their Rose Call, there's nothing there really. Frostfield um, is a place covered in snow, uh, put in a cursed state, and Swift Paw is just. A normal town with nothing special and ocean ward is um where you are now mm. Mm. but literally anywhere you guys want to go out of character yeah is is fine You have a vessel if you want to use the Jolly Roger to go places. Yeah. I mean, I can't, uh, I don't think I can make this decision for all of us, but I also don't know if, is the, do you have to like go around to get to like the farther ends or is it like you can go through the middle kind of thing? Uh, you you can't go through the middle. You guys were in the middle. It was the hub with like the different um, mm. like mosaics on the wall where you were going in. It was kind of like um, the the hub in Wreck It Ralph for the most yeah, part, okay. except for more like fantasy. Yeah, uh, yeah, you could leave and go back there, but there was like a plan with the ship or something. <laughs> I, th I think we just were excited about pirates and kind of just went yeah. for it. I mean, if we go around, we'll probably get to um, Moon Peak, which is where we mm -hmm. wanted to go. Mm -hmm. Whatever evil queen probably there, too. Hmm. Yeah, I... I uh... 
I don't know if there is any rulers there, honestly. So, um, yeah. But I do know it's it's pretty spooky, and not a lot of people are there. So, yeah. I mean, I'm just following you guys. I have the book. I'm just here. Make sure it works. <laughs> you're, you're just following us. You're on an adventure, too. I appreciate you saying that. Whatever you are, you're not just a storyteller, because nobody is just a storyteller. It is your perspective that you're telling. And usually that comes from your own adventures, your own life. Right? I think you're the second person to ever tell me that. And the first was a very nice fairy. That I think you know. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Um, but, but again, I, I don't want to dictate where you're going. I mean, literally anywhere seems fine. <laughs> I don't know if anybody wants to go with me, but that's where I'm going. Moon Peak. You're going to Moon Peak? Yeah. Okay. Hell, hell, high water. Literally. Okay. Well, I will tell the others that we're going to Moon Peak. And if they disagree, then they'll have to come and talk to you about it. <laughs> um, and uh, Winnie uh, gives you a head nod and she walks off um, to find... Um, <laughs> she, she walks off and um, tells uh, Eli that... Um, that Alexia wants to go to Moon Peak. Um, you got good anything to say about that? Okay, you're good to go there. Good, good for her. Okay. You're the, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and she'll tell Franklin. Um, are you good with that? Why are we going there? Because Alexia thinks that that's probably where the the, the witch queen is. Fine, I guess. Uh, and then she will go and tell Robert. Who has accepted the pub sub, but he has split it with, uh, with Joe. <laughs> what kind of pub <laughs> sub is it, Dylan? <laughs> Ooh, I, uh, I don't know. I, I think, hmm. I'm trying to think what Robert would like. <laughs> the two Floridians <laughs> discuss the Floridian <laughs> You know, I think he, I think he, I think, I think it would be, I think it would just be like a simple, like Italian, you know, yeah. like ham, provolone. Flies. You know. <laughs> the flies makes it crunchy, you know. Yeah, those are, <laughs> those are supposed to be in there. And protein. Yeah. But <laughs> Everyone knows you have flies on the side. No. <laughs> yeah, you, you like crunch them up and. Everybody knows flies are extra. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. actually they use those pep in their pepper shakers. You just don't know it. <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Off. Extra protein, <laughs> yum. Not sponsored by Publix. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, <laughs> Publix sponsor us. Um, <laughs> I had one of your subs earlier today, so yeah. I gotta be honest. I haven't had a bad sub there. I'll be honest, I've never had a sad sub there because I've never been there. There you go. We did I've not had, get subs when we were there. I've, I've had <laughs> two. 
<laughs> no, we have delightful little princess cupcakes, though. We did. I had one the had... one time, and I had one the other time, I think. You had three, because we bought you one last time, because you were on the plane, and I was like, hey, do you want my grandma to pick us up public stuff? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, uh... I, I just like remember that. Anyway, um, <laughs> Winnie comes in and she sits now next to Robert and she says, how are you holding up, buddy? I've been better. <laughs> Alexia. So I'm holding the sub like it's, it's, very, it's like, yeah, I was about to say, I like to imagine <laughs> it's a human sized sub, but you're a yeah. frog. So it's just like half your body <laughs> is just eating the sub. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, oh frog looks so cute. Uh Alexia wants to go to Bruin Peak. Are you okay hmm. with that? I suppose so. Why? Um, because she uh thinks that that's where the witch queen is. Ah. Uh, let's see. How How is she? Why don't you go talk to her? I... This isn't, um... Easy to admit, but I feel... That I've dishonored myself, and I feel like a bit of a coward at the moment. Look, I... I can't begin to understand where you came from mm. but I people make mistakes you know and it's not it's, it can't control your life and it can't drive people away that that you care about right like if you care about Alexia and you want her to continue to think of you as a friend or a companion then don't you think that she would understand I suppose I... it's hard for me to make connections with people again the thought of forgetting them or the thought of losing them being like this. But you're right. You're right. I shouldn't let that control my life. No matter how hard it is. And he'll plop the rest of the sub in his mouth, you know. <laughs> And hop oh up. <laughs> he's literally the Arthur picture where he's like, so his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You just sit there and watch him like eat a whole ass stuff. We just see like Winnie's horrified face with a shadow over it. <laughs> Turns out Ribbert is actually part snake. <laughs> yeah, Ribbert, you know, he'll hop up and, um, He'll, he'll sort of look at Winnie and say, and how are you doing? What, why? I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be? Well, it's the story going how you expected it to go? She swallows. It's like an audible swallow. Um, it's the public sub. It's the public sub. <laughs> Trader Joe gave her some. She had a little bit. It was the flies. It's they're coming mm. up. They're live. Um, <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> uh, no, she she swallows uh, heavily, mm. and she says, it, "It. I'm gonna do whatever I can to make this right for you, and all of them." If it if it 
if it is the last thing that I do. I will, I'll fix it. I think we can handle ourselves, Winnie. Don't get so worried about us that you stop worrying about yourself. And Ribbert will turn around and walk out. And he'll go try and find Alexia. Oh God, why are these gifts are terrible. I ate everything. <laughs> Oh, no. Guys, oh, this is guys. <laughs> this is a lot of pictures of like cartoon. Uh, I haven't I can been looking. Only describe this cartoon safe, like kids safe war, and I hate it. I hate it so much. Don't blame me. War. Blame Wreck It Ralph. That's yeah. I hate. Oh, I hate kids safe war. <laughs> <laughs> To be fair, I guess there are a lot of cartoons that I guess you could qualify it as kids safe for. Anyway, so what were we talking about? <laughs> what is this, DeviantArt? <laughs> anyway, what were we talking about? Alexia, where are you after your talk with Winnie? Thank you, Rat. Um, hmm. I imagine she's like hanging out like where they were standing, looking at the map. Trying to plot a course, mm. like uh, looking at like, like uh, like ocean patterns on another book, and like comparing. Kind of stuff. Um. So, Robert, as soon as you walk out, you you turn to the side and you see Alexia, um, and she has oh, her God, head she's down right there. looking at the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm expecting a bit of a walk. Oh boy. <laughs> well, for you it is a bit of a walk. Oh, okay. You're a frog. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a well, you know, it's a hop step and a jump. Mhm. Mm God. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then Robert will sort of uh prepare himself and walk over there. <laughs> <clears throat> Alexia. Oh. Hi, Robert. Hello. Um. Hmm. I. Robert's like sub size now. <laughs> yeah, just like a huge sub in its belly. Uh, I um. Just show up like a frog UFO. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I um wanted to apologize for my conduct earlier. It was beneath me, and more importantly, it was it was beneath you. I um <laughs> my honor means a lot to me. Um I, uh, I'm... but your friendship means more, I think. A fight is a fight, you know, but this was just a duel between friends. And <laughs> and I I didn't want it to end in something terrible happening. Hmm. Yes. Well, uh, it didn't. You're like twenty five percent of the people I know. That's <laughs> you know it. And I don't know you that well, and I don't... No, no one... No one really does. And frankly, I don't trust you, Robert. Oh. Um. 
Ah. I told you to stop. I told you that it was enough. But you didn't listen. Because of honor. And I guess, you know, nobody's going to know who you are, Robert, if you don't let them. And it's if... more complicated than that, Alexia. More than just me not wanting people to know. My condition. makes it difficult to tell people things about myself without me uh, I have to choose these words carefully even without me regretting it I suppose and I don't just mean that from a, a, a oversharing perspective I mean that from a yeah magical I understand. You are skilled with magic. I, I figured you might. I understand that you're cursed. And I mm. understand that you can't tell us everything. Yes. But I also understand this. <laughs> I don't have that much experience in life. I don't. I I truly don't. And the fact that the one of the people that I chose to be my companion it's hard. Mm. And this only so much I can give. I understand. I I can only ask for your forgiveness and hope that I will live up to your uh, live up to your trust in the future. I guess we'll see. I'll I'll leave you to your planning then. Yeah. Would you like? I don't know if he has another, but would would you like a a pub sub? <laughs> got more in the back. They got more in the back, evidently. I. <laughs> you just see a crate, and there's just like a pre-made subs already. <laughs> And just like one like plops out. No, it's, like, no, uh, guys, it's like a come on. The chef is named Pub. <laughs> oh, that's fair. Yeah. Okay. I know, but it's like he also just has a creep of pre-made sauce. Is this gonna be subs. like the? Is this gonna be like the chef of the of, uh, of Enterprise where we never know who they are? <laughs> hey, my name's... <laughs> but they are like the most amazing person on the whole crew. <laughs> yeah. Hey, my name's <laughs> Of that voice. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, getting this up because I'm meaning to pub. Does he say my name's Pub at the end of it? <laughs> Thank you, Pub. You're welcome, Pub. Appreciate this. Okay, I was gonna make the chef the Swedish chef, but I can't now. I I, I, I now. was kind of, and I'm like, let's, let's see if I can like twist that idea a little bit. <laughs> He looks like Wolverine, <laughs> but give him a little chef's hat. <laughs> he looks like Wolverine. Canadian <laughs> chef. Canadian chef. It reminds me of the um, uh, the dude that Ash was friends with that you gave, like the old man. Rock. That you, that you oh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. A <laughs> mm. oh, wet sounding voice. He's an old Cajun man. Yeah. 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 But yeah, uh, that's 
pub. <laughs> yes, Alexia will take a pub. Okay. okay. What is your pub sub? Ooh. Uh uh some some like some 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 sort of chicken parmesan situation. Red, Red Whistle has pub as the chef because she really likes subs. Yes. Why not? Wow. <laughs> Take a second. I was like, <laughs> yeah, just I guess it out. so. <laughs> Kathleen's face when she realized what you said, Scotty, was priceless. I'll be here all week. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go now. <laughs> Kevin, we all know. I was gonna say, oh man, the hat could almost fit Kevin, but it can't. Oh. <laughs> Not uh, with that attitude. Kelly, you gotta um, make him a hat. I can't make a hat. I can't do it. I'm sewing. <laughs> I'm not good at it. You just it. get two pieces of felt and, like, put them together. Just make one of them a piece of paper. That too. I can make a paper hat. I could do yeah. that. Yeah. I made paper hats for my Winston. Oh, so, yeah, I could do that. Um, but uh, you all come... To, uh, together uh, the 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 sky is starting to shift into uh, nighttime and the uh, stars um, twinkle overhead um, and there's bits of the ship that is lit up by um, lanterns uh, and everyone is moving about the ship um, and off into the distance, you see there's um, flashing lights coming up into the sky. Uh, it seems that they're throwing a party over on the mainland. Um, but uh, you all are basking in the quiet. Party over there? Yeah, I... I'm wearing my dust. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did you say? Don't worry about it. I'll put it okay. in the chat later. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, you all are basking in the quiet, and, uh, Winnie will tell Red Whistle that, um, you all are planning to go to, um, Moon Peak, um, uh, and, uh, if it was po it's possible that she could drop you off there, um, she also apologizes for everything um, um you have nothing to apologize for uh yes not uh but it feels better to do so anyway um i'm gonna try not to make this awkward and go away now <laughs> <laughs> uh and uh she like goes away. The red Whistle um, must go. Their people need them on their home planet. No, not Red Whistle must go. Winnie must go. <laughs> then um, he just runs away. <laughs> um, but you all are... Um... Here, here's Winnie. <laughs> um, uh, he, uh, you all will set a course to uh, Moon Peak, uh, and um, we'll tell you it'll take um, about three weeks to get there. Um, so you have three weeks. Uh, countless... Yeah, Kelly, sorry. three weeks of sea adventures. Go. <laughs> yeah. Is that a Yago? So three weeks. <clears throat> Abo? No, that's a yo-yo. Come on. How do you not know these things? It's, oh, uh, it's I've, I've heard of them. They're, myst they're mystical creatures. I would sing about them all the time. <laughs> yeah. I've lost control ah. of this game. <laughs> Callie, did you ever have control no. of this game? No. 
I do. <laughs> Listen, we'll be fine as long as we don't have to go up a mountain waterfall, okay? <laughs> That's gonna fuck up our ship. Did that happen? And oh, you have to, if you have the TM yes, for yes, it, it did, Callie. Yes, it did. They had to go up a waterfall, up a mountain, into the Grand Line. Mm -hmm. Even though the there's like other ways of it to this place. Oh no, that wasn't that was that was Jaya, I'm sorry. Continue. <laughs> Carry on. The look I Dylan see. gave you there. I'm not gonna start doing spoilers for One Piece. <laughs> uh, 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 uh you all um have a nice night of um uh of pub subs. Uh and um Franklin gets the spicy chicken one. Oh. oh. <laughs> the Franklin, spicy. Are you okay, buddy? Wait, did you say Franklin? Yeah. Oh. Kind of like scoots away from you and eats his sub quietly. I made you a finger puppet, Scotty. You do me dirty like this. <laughs> I'm not the one that I'm not the one that insulted Franklin's mentor that he really admires. His mentor should have been a dumbass. Um Yeah, Franklin his little Max. necklace is already breaking <laughs> off, but he just kinda of oh like gosh. he's facing very, away from Callie, me. I hope you know I am very proud of what I've done. Mm. This reminds I me of another game. I will feed Eli I will make sure to feed Eli though. I'm giving him a pub sub. Okay. Uh as you're doing that, um, I'm going to try to lighten the mood. And uh Robin uh, and Sweetums come back and uh, it's they're so wearing, bright. uh <laughs> Robin and Sweetums come back and they get on the ship and they're like Sweetums is like, Hello everybody. My name is Markiplier. <laughs> Markiplier, what are you doing here? You're not Markiplier, he's a mushroom. Yeah, never mind. That was, that was Mark Shroom. Okay. Mark Shroom. Um, yeah, King Mark Shroom, come on. He says, <laughs> please. A little happening? respect. Um, I am apologize profusely for this episode. I have been completely out of it, and I just made it the most sad the po as possible. Uh, and I mean, on you. It, it is a little. It on. is a little early to do this, but if you're, mm -hmm. if you want to, this is your game. You mm -hmm. want to have the chapter end here? Can we do the uh, next not chapter. Not yet. I've got a. I got a few more things that um I want to do first. Um. But uh, Sweetums and Robin uh come back and they're wearing uh, uh sunglasses and uh. They're carrying um, green liquid in in a uh, in a glass, and the and it and actually it's a it's a takeout container. Is, is, is it gun, lime? Uh, is it lime green? It's lime green. Mm, okay. uh, and they said, Robin says, "We just came back from the party. Sorry, you guys couldn't go, but." We brought you back margaritas! Okay, I just realized Eli's part of their group now, right? Wouldn't Eli be there also in that? And probably just doesn't care. Eli, did you want to go? Well, I don't care. See? Sure. There's, there's a, party, he... party, a party hat tilted on him, but it's yeah. sort of whatever. <laughs> like, it's just, they, they, they be put... the party he him back. Those, like, he did not like, put it on. Like yard margarita sticks. You know what I'm talking about? Like, I know exactly what you're talking about, Aya. <laughs> I, I I have one of those somewhere in my a house. Margarita stick. It's no, a, just type like, in yard like margarita. Y a r d yeah. margarita. It's just like a very long, uh, like cut on a string. <laughs> okay. God. <laughs> um. Yes. They have those. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, Excellent. And they come. They hand uh, one to each of you, and oh. they say, "Don't worry, it's not alcoholic." 
Oh, my God. Ernest, don't drink alcohol. No. There's like uh, ten. Yeah. yeah. I'm 12. No, I... As Before as they tea. say, pirates don't drink alcohol. The red whistle is sitting there, feet up, drinking up from a bottle. <laughs> it is an unmarked bottle. Oh, mm. I was thinking I, the red whistle bag. somehow has two tiny mini kegs on the side harnesses. <laughs> and just, you know. She has a, she has a beer hat. Mm. She they, they there are many cakes that hang from her ears. Oh, they're they're, yeah. they're beer caneer hats. I don't know. I tried too hard on that. <laughs> yeah, what are those hats? Fun. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, I'm Frank looks like mm, uh, mm, lime. Oh, lime. Uh, yeah, but uh, this man, uh, Jimmy Buffet, was hosting a party, and I, we were everybody was invited, but nobody wanted to go. So it was just, it was just me and Sweetums and Eli, right, Eli? Mm-hmm. Billy, did you have fun? I was this party at. We're on, we're all in the same boat. No, we're it the, was on the mainland. Yeah, we're still at the harbor. Wait, we haven't left no. yet? No. no! No, we haven't shipped off yet, Scotty. <laughs> oh my god, really? I didn't know that either. <laughs> I love the idea that Franklin had no idea yet. Because he's Franklin's like, like never... I'm surprised I wasn't getting seasick. <laughs> never oh. never been I, sailing I before. And just was like... just having motion sickness. He's like, I thought we left hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have a fight on the high seas? Oh. You guys literally, listen to me, you got on the ship and River and was like, yeah, let's yeah, duel. Let's duel, yeah. yeah. <laughs> literally, literally, we've done nothing since then except for angst. Yep, that's true. There, was, a, there was no, like, literal plot development. It was just angst this entire episode. Anyway, I'm just <laughs> I'm trying! Hey, it's some character development, hey, man. I, I helped with yeah. the story by giving them yeah. a boat to use. Sure. I got I got cash That's money true. last episode. So. Oh yeah, Eli has cash money now. It, he has, you have like two hundred now. Twenty five, two hundred twenty five. Sure. Yeah, you <laughs> sold like a bunch of clothes and stuff and did yep. bargaining. Yep. Met met the old guy, old Fisher guy from Florin, and we had a moment. And then Cassidy showed up and ruined it. Go watch the last episode so you know what we're talking about. Yeah. Rip. Kinda. Rippers. Yeah. <laughs> Franklin. I don't think you did anything wrong. I appreciate that, Franklin. And I appreciate you lending me your sword. Sometimes. Hmm, how to put this. Sometimes you can do things that are wrong even when you don't quite realize in the moment. Honor's a strange thing sometimes. Is there is there a way you can Get your honor back? Well, uh, you're so good with the sword. You know, when I gave you gave you mine, and you were so quick with it. Sometimes I just don't feel like I'm I'm worthy of having one. Ah, uh, you will be one day, lad. Don't worry. You remind me of. Um... It's so heavy. I don't know how you swing it so quickly. Oh, a lot of practice. Bit of muscle strength, too. But you remind me a bit of um, of my brother. Your brother? Do you have hmm. a brother? <gasps> Is it Robin? <laughs> uh, no, no. No, not quite. Though he reminds me a bit of him too, honestly. 
<laughs> what was your birthday like? Well, bit of a, a bit of a pest at times. A bit uh, much. Always hounding my heels. But oh, um, oh, I see how it is. Oh no, 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 I don't. I don't mean that as a bad thing. It, um, it's funny you don't really appreciate those sorts of things until they're gone. But um, yes, I. You'll be something great one day, Franklin, for sure. Oh. And as to your question about regaining honor, I. That's one of those things about being a, a warrior too. The good things you do don't wash away the bad things you do. Just like the bad things don't wash away the good things. They can coexist. You just hope you do more good than you do bad. Oh, what do you, what do, you do if you've done something bad? Can't you can't get rid of it? Can't take it back? No. No, you can't take it back. But you can try to make up for it. You can try and be better. It's really all you can do. Well, I'll I'll try to be a good example as your student. <laughs> I'm sure you will, lad. I think Alexia meant well, but she she did. She really shouldn't have done that. Well, I, uh, I don't, I can't say I understand completely where she's coming from, but um, she had her reasons, certainly. We always do. She's I've, I've never really... She's kind of like Winnie. She likes books and stuff. I never mm. quite understand that. But, <laughs> no? But she has been very useful, and she's been very nice. So. Hmm. Yes. I, ho I, hope, I hope things between you two uh, work out. I hope so, too. You really don't understand why people like books. They're just words. It's so boring. Why would you read about someone going on the high seas when we're doing it right now? That's Staying fair. In the dock. That's <laughs> yeah. We the camera zooms out Boys again. <laughs> and like literally five other boats are right next to you. <laughs> They're pushing off. We're going to pack today. Have you got anything else you wanted to do before we left? Too freaking bad. We're going right now. Release the seals. Art. Art. It's all splashed into the water. Oh. Callie, you guys hear? It's like Callie's like, you guys hear that? This is the fucking train leaving the station. <laughs> Tired. I'm sick and tired of being told that the, <laughs> the ship is still in the dock. I literally... <laughs> we gotta get this Mother Franklin ship off this Mother <laughs> Franklin dock. Yeah. Okay, but seriously, if you guys wanted to do anything before the do uh, the ship gets out of the dock, let just tell me. Uh, anchors away! Okay. How, how'd you do that thing anchors with the twirl? Away. And like Franklin's gonna like Want to try to get like a lesson out of River? Even oh River, yeah, it's probably oh, like yeah. probably like full body cast in like in a wheelchair. <laughs> Frank, uh, I mean River will try and do his oh, best God. even with his injuries. Sorry, I'm just yeah. imagining now a tiny little frog sized wheelchair. Yeah, you're just on the railing of the boat. Like we're oh. in Christmas Carol, there are tiny little frog sized crutches. Oh, sure. uh, I will say once you get a um. Arrest in, in like D and D, all of your, uh, some uh, of your points will go come back. Pub sub man. Yeah, mm. uh, and the pub sub will will give you five, give give you five of your points back. Hell yeah! <laughs> You're gonna have to make this canon now. This is canon in your world. The pub subs. There are healing potions now. 
look, I made Jimmy Buff Buffet, Trader Joe, and Pub Subs all canon in this world in this episode. So, it's, I mean, technically speaking, all those things exist uh, in the Saffron Academy world as well. We just never talk about them. I mean, we talk about Jimmy Buffett all the time. So, it's true. It's Ace One Happy Memory. Okay. Jimmy Buffett and Jimmy Buffet are two different people. Yeah. Jimmy, Jimmy Buffet, Buffet is a changeling. As they're, <laughs> they're legally distinct. Yeah. As saved adventurers yeah. from these deadly ghost specters. Yeah. It's true. Yeah. Jimmy <laughs> Buffet is is a um is a world class bard and Jimmy Buffett is a world class bard. bard. <laughs> <laughs> uh yeah. Anyway, um you all uh would we first of all would you guys like to do a um, a roll to see how well you're teaching uh Franklin? Oh, sure, I can do that. Do the um Oh yeah, it's two D six. Scotty you roll two. Oh, okay. Two D six. Uh I I'm assuming I'm gonna go with sword play or whatever I have for that. Mm-hmm. Um and since Franklin's very not coordinated. You got a four total. Mm. We got a ten. Okay. I will say, River, you are teaching so well. You are teaching Franklin like as best that you could do. And Franklin, you're trying your damn hardest. You're trying your heart out. And mm -hmm. it's okay. <gasps> My heart. No, no Franklin. Oh. oh, no. No, Franklin. Feed him a subset. Uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he suffered a heart attack. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, put a meatball on that. I can't salad find the sunglasses right now, so. Put <laughs> a meatball on that salad? Actually, that doesn't, sound, <laughs> that doesn't sound too bad, depending uh, on what kind of meatball. That was what you're saying is you get him a sub in a tub. Uh, is that an actual dish? Because I feel like that needs to Jersey happen. Mike's. Mm, okay. It's like, seriously? Uh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, um okay um but you all uh are shown to your different uh quarters uh on the ship um uh boys you are um in uh separate quarters um, then uh yeah you're in you're in you're in hammocks um the roughest you know clean out these hammocks for you um robert or uh, ribert and robin i combined your names uh will uh that, share that's what their when... ship's called no <laughs> <laughs> he's like my little brother <laughs> yeah he's like no um i know some people but... would ship that but mm -mm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> not in this house. We're not weirdos. Not, not in this game. <laughs> not in this, this book. Catholic Minds craft server. Not in this book. <laughs> <laughs> this is a Christian uh, fan but... thing. I really tickled Callie. Wow, that hit her funny. Not my Christian fan. <laughs> That reminds me of the <laughs> Minecraft Bible I saw. Uh, did you guys know actually that like if you go on fanfic.net, I don't know if it's like this, but for the longest time, if you go on fanfic.net and look in the books, like right after Harry Potter, which is number one, number two is the Bible. Uh so really? <laughs> yeah. Um take that what you will um let's just say let's just talk about the fact that the bible is fan fiction so like what's up <laughs> okay let's not get into a re actual real life religion debate on our twitch stream <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> not on i'm yet. just saying it's not um, for a sequel <laughs> but anyway uh you all uh tuck in for bed hmm. um the sound of the ship uh, sailing across the waves uh, underneath you. Uh, Red Whistle, you sit in your cabin, um, the jewel of the sea sitting next to you. 
Uh, it's red, glisten, mean beauty. Uh, Do you have a tiefling just... harem? No. Not yet. <laughs> uh, that's a different thing. Um, uh, it, it sits in like a clawed um, container, uh, it, holding it up. Um, and it shines and a, a mysteries surround it as you um, look across maps uh, on your desk. Um, and um, then uh, we will uh, we will go to Ribert. Ribert, you are lying um, fast, as, maybe not asleep in your hammock. Um, you you stay up for a while, uh, staring at the the hammock above you. Is his hammock made out of like a sock? <laughs> uh, no, because he's sharing it with uh, Robin, so it's <laughs> a normal size hammock. And also Kevin's Hello there. Case. got it. <laughs> Wait, Kevin's yeah. in the same one. We're all three frogs in the same hammock. Wow, yeah. what Dang. is the segregation of frogs? <laughs> you gotta use the frog hammock. Each one of them has a different crook, and then one's just like, but why is there? Okay. Ugh. That's Kevin a very old commercial. Like lengthy. But... We, hmm. we established this last time, but Kevin is lengthy, but yeah. he's very like thin. Okay. Um, oh, so like Dylan so all, got it. All three of you could fit in the same uh, hammock. Yeah, um, yeah. I'm imagining I'm imagining Kevin's legs are like hanging out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but you are you're staring out and uh, mm. you're probably are, are you thinking of what are you thinking of? Well, I'm probably thinking about Alexia. I'm thinking about Luke. I'm thinking about I mean a lot of things. A lot of am I ever gonna be a prince again? Like human? Do I deserve to? Like, if I can't even hold my own honor, like, how am I going to help those kids back at the the inn, you know? And how am I going to teach Franklin anything? How am I going to help Eli to get his own curse gone, you know? I think there's a lot of things going through Rupert's head right now. It's definitely those those late night. I'm gonna stay up until four a.m. because I can't go to sleep. Uh, mm -hmm. Thoughts, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, you do. You you sit there as Robin um, cuddles up to you, oh. and it's like how it was when you were traveling together. He is very comfortable with you. Maybe not knowing why he's comfortable with you, but he is. Mm -hmm. um and it's it's a familiar feeling and it kind of grounds you for a moment as you mm -hmm. think about the future and the past and what's happening where you're going from here but that moment of robin cuddling up to you is just it's enough for a moment and i think um, ribert will will wrap his arm around robin and sort of hold him close Oh. Baby. And, uh, Franklin, uh, you're laying in the uh, the bunk above the frogs. Um, Nibbles laying next to you, and I saved some bread for my sub. For well, not the bread. I saved some of the vegetable parts for Nibbles. Mm. Bread's not good. For uh, Nibbles. Well, Nibbles likes the bread, Nibbles... but Nibbles isn't allowed. It makes her fat. Or makes you fat. Does bread make you fat? <laughs> I'm glad you got that. Uh, yeah. Um, but but nipples uh, probably had like the bits and pieces of uh, the the pub sub earlier. The vegetables on the pub sub, an all veggie pub sub, um, which I think that they actually have on their menu. Uh, I mean, they and, had they had the um, vegan one I got. And that was pretty good. Yeah. Um. 
but they uh but you're 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 laying there and your um nibbles is calling up to you and uh Robert and Robin and Kevin are all sleeping below you um and the sound of the ship uh is rocking below um and i think in that moment you're probably thinking of an adventurer but what else are you thinking of thinking of an adventure or thinking of an adventure like, i'm not sure what i heard the, i'm sorry thinking of that, that this is an adventure oh that I like. Uh, he's thinking um not in like a specific wording but more along the lines of Adventuring isn't what he thought it was going to be. There seems to be a lot of drama between people, and he wasn't expecting that. He just wanted to go out and fight things and have fun. And now he's learning that just because you can fight things, it doesn't mean it's right. And that if you you have if you're honor bound, to you, there can be repercussions if you don't fight the correct way too. So he's he's probably got like those kind of thoughts lingering. He learned a moral um, today. Oh. Why? Wow! Character development. Yeah. But his teen, but know. his teen <laughs> angst is still against Alexia. But he'll never admit it to her. Uh, he he irrationally <laughs> doesn't like her at the moment. Like irrationally, she was not in the wrong. He's just. He's dumb. No, I get, I get it, I get it. It's not, it's, I get it. <laughs> and uh, and we'll uh, cut over to Eli. Um, you're laying, uh, in your hammock. Uh, Sweetums is above you, and the it oh god, it looks like it's about to bottom out. Oh, it's uh, like um in Anastasia, <laughs> in Anastasia where yeah. uh, where Vlad is sleeping on the top. That's exactly what it is. Uh, well, it's a good thing Eli is like, yeah, that's was fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Sweetums would have asked. He says, "Would you like the top bunk?" And then, oh. you... um, do you do you want the top bunk? Yeah. All right, just go for it. Okay. And then he gets on the top. Okay. <laughs> um, but uh, what are you doing, Eli? Well, I, I like to think he doesn't he's so big that his arms and legs are just dangling to whoever's the one below that bunk. Hi. Yeah, so Eli doesn't really sleep much, like, period. Except for, like, mm -hmm. what was it, last night when we were at Mary Bird's house? But that was a mm -hmm. one-off. But, but tonight, he would probably just be thinking about the old man Jenkins or whoever it was from the shop and that mm -hmm. rebird like these are people we've he knows he may not know them like as well as he used to or whatever but they're people he knows and they had that that spark of remembrance but it faded quickly and if there was any way to if it was kind of torn between whether it is worth going through all this to because if it can't be undone then we're just putting all this hope into nothing mm -hmm. and if it's if it's off or not but, but because there is that little spark we should probably go through with it anyway so he's kind of like torn not even like thinking about his own <laughs> shit going on that he probably should but I think um he'll probably you know since he doesn't sleep very well he'll probably get up and wander the ship a little bit mm -hmm. just just check out like the railing and like make sure everything is up to his snuff kind of thing everything's ship shape exactly um as you go out to the night sky and there's a cool ocean breeze uh on your face you look over the railing and you see um fluorescent fish in in the ocean uh illuminated by the moonlight um and you feel for a second um this 
prickling in your heart. Um, it's a little bit of a of a little jolt of the ticking, and it kind of uh, it kind of just and you feel you feel for a second you feel worry you you feel the the f scare the scary feeling that nothing is going to end up right at the end of this story at the end of your story and it sends a bits of panic throughout you and it's the first time in a long time that's your first feeling his immediate reaction would try to like just start breathing and try and just shove that feeling back down in its little box where it belongs it's because he hates that feeling it's the reason it, he's like this now you you know you hate that feeling but you also know that it that feeling that feeling it's a way of feeling alive you are in the back of your mind maybe not apparent to you but gaining that feeling you are becoming human again And as you shove it back into the box and you clench your fist, the feeling is gone. Um, and then you turn around and Alexia, you're on the other side of the ship. You're looking out under at the under the stars at the fish in the water shined by the moonlight the fluorescent feeling of the waves um, moving the fish uh, and tickling the bottom of the boat but you are aware of a presence on the other side of the ship and it is Eli she waves at you Look, look, does look around. Who, me? <laughs> Can't sleep. No. First time on a boat, you know. You get used to it. Never even really been on the ocean before. I've seen it. But I'll just say, how are you doing? I don't know. Triggered. Is he like? Stoic, or is it, or like, is there like a shakiness on his face? Uh, probably not on his face, but it's probably more of like, he's at least white knuckled or whatever, where he's just yeah, he can't help it, but it's like still there. Yeah. Is, is something wrong? I mean, other than everything, but. What is your particular wrongness? Hmm. Uh, I guess. I guess I'm worried. Is this even us trying to find the queen even worth it if they can't reverse it 
and we meet more people that will never remember us. Even if we fail, it would be worth it to try. Yeah, but trying is, a, trying is a hard part. I don't want to think of the alternative. <laughs> if we go there and we can't figure it, they can't reverse it, then we'll find somebody who can, or we'll figure out a way to do it ourselves. We'll help you. And we'll help all those other people too. I'm not gonna rest until. Why? What? Why? Why would you want to help me? Because you're my friend. Why? We've known each other like maybe a collective five days we maybe had two conversations together i think we've had more conversations than that and i i don't know i i like you and i i need something to focus on And if I focus on my friends, I won't be so scared about other things. Like what? Losing the person I love. Yeah. Been there. may have known each other only a couple weeks, or a week, or however how long we've been, but I think you're good people and you're worth saving. I have a recommendation. Yeah. Don't hold it in. You're worrying. You'll end up like me. Yeah. It's just that usually I don't have anybody to tell the worries to. Well, you're stuck with us, so, and I'm stuck with you guys. <laughs> yeah. Stuck together. And, um, that's, yeah, that's okay. I'm, I'm okay with that. Like I said, I don't want to think about the alternative. Jeanette Alexia. Yeah, you like. As he turns back, head to bed. She just kind of stares off into the glowing fish below. Mm -hmm. Well, Alexia, mm -hmm. as you stare off into the, uh, I'm not crying, as you stare off into the fish um, and uh, watch as they, uh, they move beneath the, the waters, um, a fog comes over your head. 
uh, and you are lost in the woods again. And you hear um, Dinky call out to you. Alexia! Please! I'm, I'm coming! We're going as fast as we can! Alexia, it's too late! No, 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 we're coming! I, I promise, we're coming! Alexia! Somebody says in your ear, As you turn around, you see this dark, hollow figure with glowing white eyes staring down at you. Um, you s they stretch out one finger and put it underneath your chin, and they and they say, "Didn't hope you didn't forget about me." Um. And then the fog goes away from your face, and you are um, close, tiptoes away from falling into the water. Can I, can I use a hero point to have Eli like Alexia? Do you say something? And like, I don't know, at least see her like on the edge. Um, yeah. Like fucking Anastasia that. again. I'm yeah. <laughs> That's a good movie. This is a great movie. <laughs> yeah, I'll, let, <laughs> I'll allow it. Uh, you see Alexia kind of uh, come back down from the. Uh, she She's on. She's close to falling over. She's on the edge about to fall over and kind of. Yes. As she snaps out of it. Uh, I want to try and I'll, I'll roll against my apathetic if I can to try and like run up there and like grab the back of her dress. All right. I want to watch Anastasia. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking the same thing. I'm like, fuck, I'm going to watch Anastasia after this. Once upon a December, the song just always makes me cry. Uh. Listening to her and to in Russian just gives me like a just so much serotonin. Like, uh, <laughs> so I rolled a six, and because apathetic is a negative two, so it's a four. Oh, you, I've I gotta say, um, you're right on the dot. You um, you grab a hold of the back of her uh, dress and you pull her back, and I, I think Alexia, that's when you you start you wake up. Um, you snap out of it. Um, and Eli, you you look into it, it's the the light of the moon is kind of shining down on it, so you can see the whites of her eyes are overtaken by uh, a cloud of dark. Uh, starry galaxies and it's as you pull her away it starts to fade back into her pupils um, is that is that similar to like when winnie was in the void pulling us out when the the dark was coming out of her eyes yes um, it's like similar similar to that it's exactly like that and that's where we're going to stop Interesting. <laughs> I, want to, I want to say that that would be one of those moments um, since I used to hear a point to change the story a little bit. Um, that he would, Eli would come back, you know, do you say something? And then see her like oh, about to step off or whatever and be that moment of, oh, that box opened for half a second. And it's Alexia and run as fast as you yeah. can. And, and just grab on. I, you know, I was, you know, it, I the, the character development. I really appreciate in the, this episode. Oh yeah. Was, yeah. Every 
everybody I feel like learned something it, today. Well, and- if it turns <laughs> out that this person that is the shadow person is a thing I'm, I'm you know I'm thinking of, I will I will I will drive to Florida, I will kick your ass, I swear <laughs> to God. <laughs> Of. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not. I'm not privy to this information. I don't know. What you're oh, um, you're, and- <laughs> I'm not. I'm not privy to this information. Says the storyteller. <laughs> says the storyteller who I know is. Yes, who I know that you have been talking to each other life. about. In the dark of the night. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wow. I will always be mad uh, that they took that fucking song out of the Broadway musical. All that right. is the best song in any animated show. Uh, There's no nothing that can. They piece. took out the whole bad guy. They replaced the bad guy with a boring Soviet dude. Who gives a shit about being accurate? I know we've talked about this before, but at every single time I'm like, you don't like the Neva flows? Because <laughs> it's the worst song. <laughs> so bad. The Neva All right. Flows. I gotta go to bed soon, so. <laughs> okay. All right. We everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Vex, uh, our guest, thank you for joining us again. Uh, would you like to do a plug? Sure, yeah. You can follow me on my on my Twitter or on and watch my games on the Twitch channel, Fraction Moon D and D, where Aya runs a game on my channel and my girlfriend Hera runs a game on my channel. Both are great. You should check both of them out. You can find them in Scotty's uh, if you're watching on Twitch on Scotty's thing at uh, Friends List, or like I said, Fraction Moon D and D. That's it. Hey, okay, uh, Reese. Hello, everybody. It's me, Eli. <laughs> Uh, character development and that worry making me run that that'll never happen again don't worry about it never ever no no no, no. one time accident uh <laughs> oh no he fell <laughs> oh no <laughs> you got too he got too invested <laughs> uh yeah so repieces on twitter uh i don't got a lot going on but i'll for sure see you guys uh not next Tuesday, but the Tuesday after for this game again. Uh, well, maybe we'll learn some more stuff about what's going on, or not. Uh, maybe I'm, more, maybe I'm, more just character development stuff. Yeah, I'm throwing off. Is this week vaccine? No, vaccine is next week. Okay, the fourth. The fourth yes. of June. Why? Yeah, June. Yeah. 4th of June. Yeah. Uh, we'll be there. Probably more of the same of this. <laughs> yeah, if you want more of this energy, Ooh. come back then because oh. literally our boss quit and everybody hates each other. So. <laughs> he'll, he'll be back. It, just not right now because we got to figure out how to be. Things, you know. We've been using him as a crutch and so now we got to figure out how to be a team instead of just employees. And uh Get some personal stuff done as well. And I don't get paid enough for that. You're, you get you're you have two jobs. You're, you're basketball player. Dying. I swear to God, <laughs> it's very dramatic. So that. anyway, yeah, that's what I got going on. Uh, I uh, I just checked, and Anastasia is on Disney Plus. So you know what I'm oh. doing later tonight. Um. <laughs> hey everybody my name is Aya Gonder you can find me on Twitter and such at, uh, by that name I do art and uh, um, um, yes and also Saffron Academy which is a game that I run on Vex's channel uh, Moon Fracture D&D Fractured, fractured Moon yep. yes yep. whatever you said Vex's channel down there below if you're watching this on Twitch. Um, uh, it is a mystery school game, and we're going to be doing a confrontation next Thursday uh, with uh, a suspect in a uh, robbery of a museum collection. Uh, so we'll see how that goes for them. Right, row. 
Yeah. I'm sure it'll be fine. Mm -hmm. I got yeah, tons I'm of points of throw to down. That, I'm glad to know that Elfman is not afraid to hit a lady in a wheelchair. <laughs> no, you don't discriminate on Christmas. I mean, speaking of, I mean, if she says Santa isn't real, I mean, you, it's kind of his obligation. Hold me back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Good job, Dylan. Uh, hey, uh, so you can find me at KKRP2 on Twitter, uh, where I just did a, a read-through of Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft, which is very good. Oh, oh. Um, Sorry, big cat. You, <laughs> you can also find uh, my products on the DMs Guild. Uh, there it is. Yeah, Van Richten's Guide. It was very good. I, I enjoyed it. Um, it, it made me want to run a Ravenloft campaign, but I never thought I'd say. So they are actually improving on every book they make in both writing and actual um, cultural stuff. So mm. awesome. It's true. Um, and then, yeah, on the DMs Guild, I have a, a guide to Candlekeep Mysteries. If you want to run the Candlekeep Mysteries adventure anthology as a campaign, uh, if you want to make it go all the way to level 20, if you want an overarching storyline, or if you just want to run it in Eberron, um, there's also, uh, you know, I know Descent to Avernus is an older adventure, but I also have my Dance of the Deathless Frost expansion for that, uh, which has... Um, it's, it's a very good adventure. Well, yeah, that's right. Scotty, Scotty ran it. If it so wasn't for find... personal investment in Tomb of Annihilation, that one would be my favorite. Mm, that's that's fair, actually. <laughs> um, also, but, the uh, going to be in a keep game, uh, bigger game. Again. Oh yes, yeah, uh, yeah. I guess um, Is, sure. Are they, yeah, are they live streaming that or anything, or recording it or anything? It's on his Patreon. They are. So if you if you are a Patreon supporter for Keith Baker, the creator of, I have all my books around me, of the Everon campaign setting. Um, yeah, he is running a a Patreon campaign for his supporters in Everon. Uh, and I was in the first episode, and this Friday I'm going to be in the fourth episode. So. There you go. Same character. Um, you can, um, yes, yeah. same character actually. Cool. Yeah, <laughs> we're doing a little festival. I love, I love his character. He, it's, it's, he's wonderful. <laughs> and then on Saturday, Not of course, biased. right here uh, on Scotty's channel, we're doing more Chaos Crew. We're finally, they will be right. leaving uh, Under Mountain after right. claiming some treasure and stuff. Right here at this time of year, in this place. Yeah. On this exactly. very streaming channel, yeah, <laughs> in our good Christian neighborhood, <laughs> in this good Christian water deep, yeah, <laughs> in this good Lithuanian water deep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I got going on. Hey, Scotty. Uh, hey, everybody. As you can tell, especially at the very beginning of the stream, we were kind of rusty because we've been off for a bit, but we're back. Hooray! Um, tomorrow, we're starting a completely brand new campaign because the um, the game is normally on Wednesdays. Actually, concluded our Mists of Krenz Valley. So, if you want to see how that ended, I'll definitely go into the the, the YouTube channel Scotty Hood um, and check out the past the the playlist so you can catch up on that. Because tomorrow at seven p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we are starting. The Rhyme of the Frostmaid and Icewind Dale adventure. And I'm going to have Ooh. seven players, the most players I've ever had. So that should be interesting. But we've had that many oh, for many campaigns on this channel before. So I think it will be fine. Uh, yeah. One character is a child of two of the characters from a previous game that was on this channel called Reign of Misrule. The daughter of. Oh. Daughter of Patience. Is actually here right now, the storyteller. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Her name is Periwinkle. She's my child. And <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, it's That's around. Awesome. Like, dang, all right. Yeah. And, well, and, different universes. And there might be a, <laughs> and there might be a bunch of scholars and doctorates and maybe a cat with some guns. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Are you playing cat with a gun? No, oh, I'm, I'm a DM. Of course I am. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say it sounds like a Max character. Why? Why would I play anything else? A I gunslinger 
specifically the Mage Hand Press Gunslinger, which I agree with Vex is the best version of Gunslinger. Sorry, Matthew Mercer. You're going to have to step aside. <laughs> but yeah. Sorry, Matt Mercer. You were my last, my least favorite for choice of the three gunslinging classes I could have taken. I mean, he was step the first. He was the first, so it's like that, like, he had nothing to uh, Honestly, it's, it wasn't even but him. whatever. I mean, I, he didn't even make it. Whatever. I, I, we could, yeah. we could talk about that all night. Um, <laughs> yes. 30, let's go. Yes, I gotta go to bed. I got work in okay. the morning. Uh, but, well, thank you for joining us. I'm sorry that it started out very slow and very sad, and I, I, I am. It was uh, fine. I'm sad sad the I'm whole way it... fucking through. <laughs> I'm sorry that it ended sad, but I <laughs> really am not. Um, <laughs> no. Because I got character development out of it. And thank you, Aya, for these little finger puppets. I really, I really love the Winnie one. It's so cute. It's got the necklace and everything. And uh, it's uh, just very nice. And oh, until next time, this chapter yeah. has closed. You being <laughs> Have I'll a bloody good later. time. Bye. Oh, God. <laughs>